Hi there. My name is Jeremy Rosbeck, and I'm the Chief Technical Evangelist at Broadcom for our network monitoring solutions. And today we're going to talk about the evolution of networking and the challenges it creates for our network operations teams today. So we all know for many, many decades, we have data centers that supply connectivity to our remote offices via a network we call the managed network. This is the network you as network operations teams are the god of. You know every single packet, you know every single route, you know every single device within this architecture. And that's what made things uh, controllable. You had full visibility into every single application experience. But the problem is, is over the last few years, We've adopted cloud. The pandemic has forced us to work from anywhere. And we access this cloud environment via what we call the unmanaged network. This is a network you have no visibility into. This is a network you know none of the routes none of the packets. This is the network that is now being utilized over ISP and cloud providers because our hybrid workers are not inside of our offices today, but using many networks to access the resources you've allocated to them. And these networks are what we call the unmanaged network. To talk about more complexity, we're adopting SaaS applications, right? We're implementing SD-WAN to securely connect our branch offices either back to the data center or to cloud environments. These two very popular networking architectures and technologies come with their own complexities though. SaaS, you have no visibility and blind spots which means your users that you support are again traversing an unmanaged network to access SaaS applications you've given them access to, but this network you cannot see into. SD-WAN, another hot technology today. The problem with SD-WAN, it comes with too many alarms and it's only edge to edge which means software-defined technologies today are very, very useful. A lot of customers are implementing this new technology, but it does create more complexities. One software-defined networking architecture can produce 23,000 events. None of our network operations teams today need that many events or alerts to sift through to quickly find the root cause of any network degradation. And also, SD-WAN vendors today, they do a very good job at monitoring the edge of the network to the other edge of the network, securely creating that tunnel. But the problem is, is there's a lot more infrastructure behind the edge of the network inside of our data centers, inside of cloud environments, inside of our branch offices, and even inside of our hybrid workers' home wireless network. So end-to-end -end visibility is what's needed with this type of complexity. With the pandemic forcing a lot of our workers to become more uh, hybrid and remote, there's no insight into the productivity impact on them when outages or performance degradations happen. Like there's an outage at an ISP network or there's slowness inside of their home wireless network. And then finally, new security technologies like zero trust network assurance, where we funnel all of these hybrid workers through one or many security edge devices to authenticate them and then grant them access to all the workloads and applications we're giving them access to today. But these security devices can be running hot, 100% CPU, high memory utilization. What is the impact of those hot security devices on our hybrid workers and their productivity? If there is an impact, you're talking about revenue loss and possibly a brand impact.
So this is what the evolution of networking has done to create challenges for today's operations teams. They've lost visibility into the user experience because the users are now accessing an unmanaged network that does not reside from the data centers to the branch offices that we've been managing for many, many decades today. You've lost control, right? If, if uh, most of your users are accessing the applications and workloads you granted them to, but not over your network, you've lost that control and lost that visibility. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about some successful network transformation strategies that brings this all together, brings back that control, that visibility, and provides that end-to-end -end network assurance that is needed today to overcome all of these challenges.